Okay, let's have a look at uh, balancing equations in acidic solutions. So this is assessment statement 9.2.2, deduce redox equations in acidic solutions. So let's look at this example. Now the first thing you have to do here is assign oxidation numbers to each of the uh, atoms, okay? So we've got um, the iodide ion, which is negative one. We've got the O in ClO negative. Now the O oxygen is going to be negative 2 and there's three of them and you have an overall negative charge so that means the chlorine must be plus 5 and on the right hand side you've got I2 even though it's in aqueous solution it's still an element so that's going to be 0 you've got Cl2 an element it's going to be 0 and you've got water which we have um, oxygen negative 2 and hydrogen plus 1 so the next thing we have to do is assign um, or balance the atoms, okay, other than H or O. So in this one here, you've got two I's on the right hand side and one on the left. So we need to add a two there. And the second half equation on the right hand side, we've got two chlorines on the left hand side. We've got one. So another two there. Okay. Now the next step is to balance the equations for H and O, okay? Now the top equation uh, here has no H or no O, so we don't have to worry about that one. So what I've done here, I've balanced, the, um, I've balanced this half equation, uh, and I'll just go through each point. So let's start with the O. So if we look here, we've got two ClO3 negative, so that's 2 times 3, we've got 6 oxygens on the left side. So what I've done here, I've added 6 water molecules on the right to give us 6 oxygens. Okay, so we're balanced for oxygen. Um, but obviously now we've got 6 hydrogens, uh, sorry, 12, 12 hydrogens on the right hand side. So on the left hand side here, I've added 12 H+. Plus. Okay, so we're now balanced for oxygen and hydrogen. The next thing we do is balance for charge. So we've got 12 positives and we've got two negatives, two times that. And we need to get the same as the right hand side. The right hand side has no charge. Okay, so the way we do that is by adding 10 electrons to the left hand side. So we're now balanced for charge as well. Okay, so next we're going to um, look at the uh, iodine half equation, okay? And we have to make sure that the number of electrons is the same, okay? So in the first half equation, we have uh, 10 electrons. So that means we have to multiply everything in this equation here by five, okay? Um, so why have I done that? Well, basically, if we balance this one for uh, electrons, now I've multiplied everything there by five, because we need 10 electrons, okay? So that gives us uh, down here, gives us 10 I negative, and then five I two plus 10 E negative, okay? So we've now got the same number of electrons each side uh, for each half equation. Okay, so what we need to do next is cancel out what appears on uh, the same on both sides. So we've got 10 E negative there and 10 E negative there. They cancel out. Um, electrons should always cancel out. Okay, and then we combine the two half equations together which gives us this equation here, okay? 10I negative plus 12H plus plus 2ClO3 negative gives you Cl2 plus 6H2O plus 5I2. And I should really add AQ because everything is in um, acidic solution, okay? So make sure that you have AQ for every uh, species in your equation. Except for water, of course, which is a liquid. Okay, now what I'd like you to do next is um, try this example for homework. Okay, 
So balance this equation in an acidic solution, uh, have a go at this example.